Hello, in this video we are going to take a look of the new dedicated virtual CPUs plan from Hesner. So a couple of days ago they introduced a dedicated virtual CPU plan. So you have uh, servers that you can um, create and it will dedicate your CPU for your application. So you see in here that uh, they have uh, the start one with two AMD CPUs with 8 gigabytes of RAM. 80 gigabytes of this space, 20 gigabytes of uh, traffic, terabytes of traffic. They are available in other locations in uh, Frankfurt, Finland, and USA. So the price starts from uh, about 15 euros a month for the lowest one, and it goes up with the next ones. If we're gonna check the prices, for instance, for the Digital Ocean one, you will see that the CPU optimized one, the regular Intel with SSD, it starts from $42 a month with 4 gigabytes to CPUs and only 25 gigabytes of SSD for the Intel with NVMe and the network with 10 gigabytes, it goes to 100 a month. So Hesner prices are really affordable if you think that you have um, a uh, VPS that has a dedicated virtual CPU only for your application. And I've created two servers in here. So one, it's the basic one from the dedicated. It has the two virtual CPUs and uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. And the other one is the shared one with three virtual CPU, the MAMD one and eight gigabytes of storage, the same with uh, four gigabytes of RAM. And I have run uh, Test on this. I've run the I've run the YAPS test, and we are gonna check to see the differences between the two of them. So you see in here in the left we have the one that has the dedicated. You see the RAM. It's the seven. Uh, it's it the eight gigabytes of RAM. You see in here both are using the same uh, this the same architecture for the CPU. You see in here the cores. Exactly the same things are, are in here. And uh, let's go first with the read and write. You see that you have similar reads and writes for these things. So even if you are using a dedicated or a shared one, you'll have the same things. In here, we're going to check the, the speed. You see that the one is in one data center and the other it's in, in another data center. I don't know why the they are telling that there the is the same location because it it isn't. And in here you can see that uh, the speeds are similar. There are better speeds if you see the IPv6 traffic. And what is important is the test with uh, Geekbench 6. So we have, it's using Geekbench 6 to, to benchmark the, the CPU. And in here you have like if you see the dedicated one, it's using a single core of uh, 1300 points and the multi-core it's uh, a little higher, it's just like with about 350 points up. The difference is not big at all, I expect it to have like a bigger differences with multi-core, but yeah, this is not, doesn't happen. Oh, here we have the shared one and you see like the single core it's like 2000 and the multi-core it's 3000. Again, for the shared CPU it depends what is the workload, workload on the data center in the rack that uh, was allocated. But you see in here like uh, there is a big difference in multi-core for the one that is it's cheaper. So basically this one it costs about uh, eight euros if I don't, uh, I'm not mistaking. And let's go and check the, the prices just to be, to be sure. So you see here the share CP one that I am using. It's yeah, about nine and it doing a pretty good job. I have on the website hosting in here and uh, I don't had any problems with Hasner in the past years. So yeah, they're also offering AMD. Sorry, they are also offering IRM ones. I did a video in the past with a comparison benchmark. I will let the link in the description. And now they are offering the dedicated CPUs. So yeah, this 
is the benchmark. I will suggest using the shared one if you are starting with like smaller sites and in case you are seeing problem, you can upgrade to the, to the dedicated ones. Also the dedicated ones have more RAMs seen here. The RAM is doubled for the, the part one. So yeah, this is the dedicated resource review from Hesner. Please let a comment into the video description if you are using any Hesner server and let us know if you face any problems. In case you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks and see you in the next video.